plans for that cellar, and it don't necessarily involve staying sober. He thinks your soup kitchen might not be on the up and up. That dame gets on my nerves. Got a great pair of gams, though. Isn't a soup kitchen an odd line of business for a guy like you? I like soup. Plus, I got a heart as big as all outdoors. Uh, buff a little harder. I want to see myself in the toes. About Arthur McFly. Yeah? Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. So one more thing about that hat. You're testing my patience, boy. Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? I'm hanging on to my peanut ball. I sure could go for some peanuts. Lucky for you, I'm in a giving mood. Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! What'd you do? Oh. <clears throat> Give me that hat, you lousy crook! Emmett! a monkey out of Kid Tannen! Hey! Al! Fix me up! Where'd you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out! Just think, <laughs> in 55 years, I'll be able to rent five movies on this spot. I don't think that would be interested in that. I'm not so sure I want to stay in a place that welcomes transients. I don't think that would be interested in Arthur's hat. How can I help you, sir? Without any money, I don't know what's in there. I 
don't think that would be interested in Arthur's hat. You gonna buy anything? Um, no. Then get out, Bob. be interested in Arthur's hat. Hey, how you doing, Einie? Einie? It's short for Einstein. Einstein, of course! Because he was a patent officer just like you! Hey, Einie. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy. Can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Where's he going? Only one way to find out. Deja vu. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! Hey, Arthur, can you come down a minute? Do I know you? We've got something for you. It's a sub uh, subscription to the Accountant Weekly. He won't come. That's why we're really here. No, oh, right. <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry. Some other time. What now? It's me again. Please come down. Why? We've got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss tells me I can leave. Sorry. Some other time. Need any help? Um, never mind. I don't think that would be interested in Arthur's hat. Well, well, look who's back! They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, Matches!
come down from there, you son of a bitch! Right now! That's an order! I don't think they're in don't a talkative mood angry. right now. Get down here! They're it's in a the talkative music. mood right now. Be that easy. Nobody! Einstein! Help! Lay off! Get away from Get me, out you crazy Get mutt! Go! Go away, dog! We're busy here! Go on, scram! Hey! Where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot! I don't need to go in there anymore. Guess what? In order to free up your younger self to complete the rocket drill, I'm gonna have to serve my own grandfather with a subpoena. Great Scott! Actually, it's Arthur. He's kidding. Whatever you do, it's vitally important that you don't alter your grandfather's future in any meaningful way. For that's his Could be catastrophic. I know, got it. the right time or place book ah oh, so that's where i left it why'd you bring it here because the bank's selling off all your stuff they can't do that that's what i keep trying to tell them well you hold on to it for safekeeping we'll deal with my financial situation in 1986 after we save me from a grisly death what's the story with the jerk anyway biff's father by this time next year, he'll be pulling down a life sentence in San Quentin. There was even a song about Wait, it. Wait, if Biff will be born in 1938, and Kid will be in prison... As I recall, he escaped from prison in 1937 for about three hours. That's a busy three hours. No kidding. What do you know about Edna Strickland? Edna? I socialized when I was younger. Two years older than me, and we travel in different socioeconomic circles. Why do you ask? You're a hero for burning down that speakeasy. She's doing a story on you. Oh, yes. Now I remember. Ask Edna. The etiquette column that doubled as a pro-temperance soapbox. She believed that the consumption of alcohol would inevitably societal breakdown. Fun gal. You should have seen her when the hippies started in the 60s. She just somehow lost her mind. That would... Where have you been all this time? I missed you. I missed you, Marty, but I thought it was important to your own life for a while, free from the insanity of time travel. I'd admit, it was nice to not have my family history blowing up in my face for Besides, I've been busy raising my own unpredictable teenagers. Back. Hill Valley Police Station. Cripes, this place looks old, even for 1931. Who are you and what do you want? Can I talk to, uh, Carl Sagan? Are you his lawyer? No. Then scram! <laughs> 